Good Sunday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. A southerly flow is broad and sweeping over the coastal areas of the Gulf of Alaska as well as the Alaska Range. Wind advisories are posted until 6 a.m. on Monday for areas southeast of Birch Lake where gusts could reach up to 50 miles per hour over the Deltana and Tanana Flats region, including places like Delta Junction and Fort Greeley and the eastern Alaska Range. Uh, it looks like those winds could be as strong as 50 miles an hour, uh, generally out of the south, about 25 to 40 miles per hour. That'll last until about 6 a.m. on Monday. But for the north coast, it's more than wind. It is snow and blowing snow. In some cases, a blizzard warning is in effect until 6 p.m. on Monday for the central Beaufort Sea Coast and the eastern Beaufort Sea Coast there. Uh, blowing snow will reduce visibility to one quarter mile through Monday morning. Winds of uh, 35 to 45 miles per hour from the east will gust upwards of 50 to 60 miles per hour. There could be additional snow of 1 to 2 inches there. That'll be for the eastern and central Beaufort Seacoast. A winter weather advisor is also posted for the northeastern Brooks Range there. It looks like uh, wind will continue to blow in the region, reducing visibility to about one half mile through Monday night with easterlies 20 to 30 and gusts to 45. And for the northern Arctic coast, a winter weather advisory is posted for you as well, including Barrow, Alaktak, Pit Point, and Nulavik. Blowing snow will reduce visibility below a half mile from time to time. Easterly is 20 to 35 with gusts to 45 miles per hour. And look for more uh, poor visibility as we get into Monday and Tuesday. A low pressure will start to fan out across the Gulf of Alaska as we get into the early week, and that means the continued threat for rainfall across the Kenai Peninsula, Kodiak Island, and the Alaska Peninsula. But a much better chance of seeing wet weather in southeastern Alaska, more of a widespread basis there as we get into uh, Monday night and Tuesday. Low pressure will hover around 988 millibars on Tuesday with the frontal boundary stretching from Kodiak Island and Sand Point all the way out toward Ketchikan and Annette. That will keep more of an east and southeasterly flow moving through the panhandle. That will keep things soggy across the panhandle, but it doesn't look like periods of heavy rain will be a major part of the equation. Snow showers will start to dissipate across the Alaska Range and the interior with drier weather setting up for the midweek. High pressure settling into the western Bering Sea is expected by Wednesday. With Alaska Statewide Weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder.